When you make a game, there's a few different ways that you can go about it. All the way back in the day, people essentially just made games by looking at their own imaginary brain and figuring out how things should look. Over time though, especially in motorsport racing games, people started to look at tracks and try to find out ways that they could replicate the track in the game that they were making. Over the course of decades, that has gotten more and more sophisticated and quite honestly, more and more difficult. And so today I thought I would talk to you a little bit about how Torque Drift 2 goes into this because the way that we go about it is extremely big pain in the ass for us, but it results in some of the most accurate track development you could possibly get in a racing game. See, here's the thing with Torque Drift 2, which by the way is a free to play game that you can go download over on Epic Game Store right now and you can jump right in and drift on different tracks, things like Irwindale or even Long Beach if you wanted to. And if you had it downloaded, you were actually able to go drift at the LZ compound, which was absolutely awesome. Now, here's the thing with scanning racetracks. There's a few different ways that you can go about it. There's people that will go out there and try to measure it in terms of buying the data from the actual racetrack. You would actually be blown away by how much money is out there by people selling data that has to do with just specific spaces. You can buy things like Times Square. You can buy data for Long Beach. You can buy data for the downtown Miami if you really wanted to. And for some tracks, you can actually download and buy the data from the racetrack as to if you wanted to get that into a game. For us though, we wanted to do things differently. A lot of the reason why is because that data is outdated and sometimes not very good. The thing that we use is a big ass drone. And there's two ways that we can go about scanning racetracks. We can use something called photogrammetry and we can use something called LIDAR. Photogrammetry is exactly what it sounds like. It uses a bunch of cameras on a drone to take pictures of what's below it to the highest accuracy that it possibly can. And for most video game companies, they're going to use photogrammetry. Now, photogrammetry is a very accurate system, but it is very dependent upon certain things being met almost perfectly things like weather conditions, making sure that there's not a bunch of branches or trees in the way because it won't be able to scan what's below it. And there's a whole bunch of other things that make photogrammetry really, really great as long as essentially you can take a picture from a few hundred feet up to the ground in complete accuracy and without anything getting in the way. For Torque Drift 2 though, we use something else. We use something called LiDAR, which is kind of the biggest pain in the butt ever, but it is the way that we get a more realistic track experience. If you actually went out to play Long Beach, you'll notice that for all intents and purposes, it is damn near identical to the Long Beach Formula Drift track that you're actually gonna see run around in April. The reason that we did that is that we were able to use LiDAR. And what LiDAR is, is it uses a laser system to also measure the distance between the actual drone and the ground. The thing that matters so much about us using LiDAR or photogrammetry is that sometimes you have to use a mix of both. But for us, we are very, very focused on using LiDAR as much as we possibly can because it gets you the most realistic version version of that racetrack. So much so that you're actually able to see the difference in almost inches of the racetrack with different sort of elevation and pitches and changes. Now, that may not be a big deal for a street circuit like Long Beach, but when you start going into things like Road Atlanta, where the depth of the whole track is huge and making sure that you get that slope perfectly, that's actually a really big deal. And so what happens every single year is people like myself or people like Gels will actually travel out to those events, will take the big ass drone equipment that's literally right over there. In fact, I'll show you really quick how insane this thing is because we want to make sure that it's perfect when you play it. Now you might be thinking, Alex, that's a lot of work for a free to play game. Does that mean that we have to buy something in the game to make it work? And the answer is no, it's a free to play game. Do we want you to buy something? Absolutely we do. There's like a thousand different cars and parts that you can download and buy in the game that you can modify so that you can drift with a cooler car that's yours if you wanted to. This is just the camera that goes on the drone that we use to scan our tracks with Formula Drift. This is a very simple looking box, but let me tell you, it is a very expensive box. This box allows us to capture literally inches differences in terms of, I don't even know how to put this back. I don't even know how to put that back. Here, thank you. It's so detailed that it allows you to get some really wild experiences. And Torque Drift 2 has always been about that. We're trying to deliver the most drift oriented, drift focused game that you can get. Now, does that mean that it's a lot more work? Absolutely it does. Does that mean that we have hundreds of thousands of developers making this game? Absolutely not. We have a super lean and super small team. Really, you have people like Gels and I wearing 10 different hats when we go out to a Formula Drift event, shooting content, throwing the drone up, scanning stuff, checking things out. We have people 
people in house that are actually making sure that it all looks good so that when you jump into Torque Drift 2, you get the most realistic experience. What I will say is that this takes a ton of work and what ends up happening is it can put quite a strain on your computer, or at least it did. Torque Drift 2 is coming out with a new update we're calling 0.8 right now in the coming weeks that's gonna make the performance of the game that much better. It's gonna allow you to take, especially if you're running a GeForce of some kind, an RTX, either 30 series or 40 series, to the next level in terms of getting just a properly smooth playable experience. We've seen people go from like, 60, 70 FPS to 110 to 120. And we have a whole bunch more coming out in the 0.8 release, which you can actually check out the patch notes, if you will, on the website over at torquemotorsport.io. Or if you're looking to actually modify your car in the real world, you can actually buy car parts at shop.torquemotorsport.io. But we did want to spend a little bit of time talking about this because not just with the track, we also do this with car parts as well and the cars that you see in the game. That is why things are taking the time that they are. That's why you see such a passion a team behind the scenes trying to make this whole thing work and that's why torque drift 2 does feel a little bit different and why they are doing things a little bit different and it's not because they're trying to do anything besides make a game that feels authentically built for people that just love drifting so if you have any questions on how we scan a racetrack or you want to know more details about our big black mirror style drone you can feel free to let us know in the comment section below and if you haven't had a chance yet go download torque drift 2 on epic game store and if you already have and you've got some feedback for us or things that you'd like to see, drop a comment below. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Everything you guys are sharing with us is the exact things that we're working on so that you can have a better experience with every single release that we do. This is a free to play early access game and we're just trying to make it the best experience we possibly can. So I'm Alex, Alex Martini with two underscores on Instagram. I'm over here on Torque Motorsport today. We hope you enjoyed this video and we will see you on the next one. Adios.